The M1 was a true joy and blessing to work on. It was one of the first times that Korg had put together a group of musicians from the United States, from Europe, and also the engineers in Japan. There were other synths that were just starting to show up, but I think some of the competitive synthesis had just attacks, but not full samples. And the M1 was one of the first um, kind of complete workstations that had a mixture of full synthesis, full envelope control effects, which you never had had sort of in a kind of a built-in place. Uh, but then full samples, a full PCM library that was really robust. やっぱりあの、iPad the guys at Korg absolutely nailed it. And they got all the sounds and all the features and all the expansion cards, and it goes on and on and on. And it's just going to blow you away. It's so much fun to play with. Uh, it'll, it'll go everywhere with you, believe me. You're going to love it. It's still relevant, this thing. That's what's so brilliant about it, is you kind of you forget that it was such a powerhouse of sound. Man, I used to... I used to program sequence after sequence on these things, and just... I'm so used to the sound. A lot of them popular music that was coming out at the time really changed in sound because of synths like the M1. Everything that, that made the M1 the M1 is now in your briefcase. Plus, it seems to come with all the sort of major cards that were available for the M1. I mean, it's just amazingly playable keyboard, uh, super programmable, and, and just uh, had a quality all its own. That um, I mean, it's sort of no wonder it was such a smash. You know?